Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we've got a cow in the chute and she is favoring her left front foot. So let's get this foot cleaned up and get this trim underway. See if we can figure out where that problem is. You're all pros, right? You can see it right along this white line. See that dark shading behind there? That's our clue that this is a false sole and it's gonna to need to come away. Now you'll notice here, I notched this wall horn out with my grinder. In a lot of videos, I'll talk about trying to preserve wall horn, but here, before I've even gotten in there, I notched that wall out. Why did I do that? Because I know that that is exactly where that problem is. So I'm never going to leave a hole open to the sole without having a way to vent that out. In this case, it's pressed up right tight to that wall. So that's the area that I'm gonna notch out. That's gonna keep debris from getting uh, packed back up in there once this treatment is complete. Here you can see how tight it is to that wall horn. And actually it started to erode some of that wall horn itself. So that notch is necessary here. We're gonna finish uh, clearing this whole area out now. That whirring noise you hear in the background, that is from a feed truck. This particular farm has about 1,600 animals on it. That is a full-time job for the feed guy. He's running that truck all day long when I'm there, so there's really no chance to avoid it during my trims. But we can put up with a little bit of noise in our audio for a little bit. It'll be done soon. We're working our way closer now. There's another layer of separation yet to get to. You see these little lines here? That's that degradation of that wall horn that I was talking about. It's working its way up that wall. So I gotta continue to work here until that terminates. I underestimated the depth of this sole here. It's taken me longer to get down to where I needed to get to just because I thought the sole was thinner already. But we're finally getting there now. We're getting down to that last layer of separation. So I'm gonna get a block on that other claw and then we'll finish that claw up. As I've mentioned before, I put a little bit of that block glue on the side of the hoof just to give a little bit more surface area for that glue to hold on to. Many times viewers will be concerned with those dark patches you see in that hoof. That is just hoof color. Nothing to be worried about there. Thought it was about getting to the end of this and then it's gonna start to open up again.
now that we've gotten all that loose horn taken care of and gotten this area nice and cleaned up, we can go ahead, get that salicylic acid treatment in place. And this is where I leave you today. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.